after the Impossible Princess, there was great calls from fans for Kylie to return to what she did best, uh, pop music. And she was definitely, genuinely a bit frightened. I think that she quite literally considered what what other career directions can I take because it did look like her career could be dead and buried. She said herself that if spinning around hadn't have worked, she doesn't know what she would have done. Yeah. Was it exciting to hear Pop Kylie back in true uh, an absolutely fantastic form too, like Light Years mm. amazing album. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Definitely. Definitely one of yeah. the faves. Definitely. Um, yeah. seeing her come back with spinning around. Yeah. The video. Mm. Oh, my God. And, her- and the words to that song as well was just like, yeah. I'm back, stick it up to you, you know? Yeah. And mm. her, just the way it starts with her, like, yeah. with the shoes yep. and then over Absolutely. the top of the couch. Like, the video yeah. is just amazing, like, mm. seriously. It is a great video. Yeah. Very iconic. Oh, mm. very. And, and she looked, well, uh, to me, she looked more mature than she ever had before. The haircut. Yeah. She and and I loved the the cover art for that with the hula hoop, the pink. Yeah. Um, I just the whole package. It just came together, didn't it? Yeah. Really. Yeah. Mm. And follow it up with a song like "On a Night Like This," oh. which is just ge- genius. The video I, as well. Absolutely. Oh, and the video. Yeah. What was that video about? I've got a real problem with concepts. I don't understand things yeah. unless they're literal. Mm. What was the whole deal with that old man? Was he a? Well, I him? think he's an it's actor. Is, isn't he? Isn't he? A, I'm an actor? Sure. Um, I, I think I think he was an actor. And she, I remember Kylie saying something along the oh, lines Oh, he's a of, famous actor yeah, in real life. Yeah. 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 But what was, what was he doing? I don't understand why she's jumping into a I pool. I thought she, he was a sugar daddy and that's how she got her diamonds. And they just take her clothes off. Oh. Yeah, well, what, as you do. Because you have to do these things for diamonds. And I don't know what she had against the bars. I didn't understand that. Part. Isn't she dead in the video? <laughs> 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 That's what I Isn't thought. this I See Dead People dead. movie? I don't know. I don't know. That's did you a, really think she was dead in the movie? I, yeah, I was thinking like... I can't, I can't blame could, you. I'm not mocking you. You, you know I'm, how they're, they're in the in the house and she gets her dress and chucks it at, at them? Yeah, well, that's not what and dead she, people generally do. And, uh, maybe she but was like, an illusion. Yeah, I don't know. That's what I... I hadn't... Well, see, that. it's all open to interpretation. Mm, true, true. Your idea is not silly. Many might think it is. But I don't, <laughs> because I don't have a better idea for you. So. But that song is funny. It's one of the most uh, commonly in my circle of friends anyway who've got married. Most bridal waltzes, that's their bridal waltz song. Bridal waltz? As in like when you come out from the you know the wedding reception and you're going to enter the... On a night like this. Yeah, and they do their first mm. dance to that. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Just a bit of tidbit for you, Tim. That's some trivia for you. Obviously, we've no, been I going too long. To that question, I'm not understanding anything. Um, no, but it was a fantastic album. Um, a single choices again, controversial though. We had spinning around. Most people are unified in mm. agreeing with that. It was a great comeback single. Video package, mm. all good. So, uh, on a night like this, can't go past that as a song. What about the missed opportunities on Light Years? Oh, my God. Light Years, the actual yeah. um, mm-hmm. track itself. Mm-hmm. Wow. Th- they remixed that and Butterfly. See, Butterfly is one of my favourite songs the, on the dance floor. They all could be singles. Seriously. Like, Absolutely. They should have released about five singles from that album at least. Yeah. The general public don't understand what a club hit Kylie is. Mm-hmm. Um, and Butterfly would have just cemented that. Out of control. Absolutely. It was an amazing track. So overlooked. It got a limited release, I think, in the US somewhere. Yeah, and yeah. it's worth a fortune now if you've got mm-hmm. your hands on that. Well done. Mm-hmm. Um, but such a missed opportunity. And the video could have been amazing for mm-hmm. that too. Light Years, as you say. Mm-hmm. She apparently was quite unhappy about uh, Please Stay being released as a single. I remember uh, reading that at the time. I don't know what she preferred as the alternative, but um, Please Stay. It was a safe choice, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely Not safe. a bad yeah. song. Not a bad song, but very safe compared yeah. to others. And- it was mm. definitely top ten. Top Top, yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah, but it was just like a but overlooking puffy, some other ones. It was just silly, forgettable type yeah. of tune. I think because yeah. it had the Spanish sort of like, yeah, you know, it was safe. It. it was you're yeah. right. That's the only way to say it's safe. So I mean, and really, Light Years propelled her back to the position which she rightly deserves. Mm. She was the, the back to being the queen of pop, really. Mm-hmm. Well, the princess of pop. Mm. Yeah, she'd prefer that title. <laughs> Wasn't it a relief to see her back? Absolutely, mm. absolutely, yeah, mm. absolutely. And what about? Let's talk about collaborations. We're talking about Kylie um, and Robbie Williams. There, she's collaborated collaborated with some unlikely people in her mm. career. Of course, Nick Cave. Mm. Mm. Do you Brilliant. think he's amazing? Amazing, and to have done it with him so early on as well. Like that song was just fantastic. Uh, it's written fantastic. for Kylie as yeah. well. Yeah, fantastic. 
He's it's a bit disturbing, isn't it, that that was written with Kylie in mind? Yes. <laughs> Considering what happens to her. Yeah. And it was actually Michael Hutchins that turned around to Kylie at the time and said, oh, look, my friend wants to work mm. with you. Mm. you know, and not Kylie not knowing who Nick Cave was. Mm. Or... The irony is that Kylie wanted to be seen as so cool. Yeah. Uh, and Nick Cave is so cool. Yeah. And yet Nick Cave was in so much awe of Kylie Minogue. Yeah. Mm. He yep. said when he worked with her, he was... He felt humbled, like mm. he was in the presence of greatness. Yeah, it's funny. It's did it full he, circle. Sorry, didn't he actually owe, own a Kylie bag? He did. <laughs> <laughs> he did. But that was before they'd met, I believe. Yeah. He, he walked around this really cool guy with a Kylie Minogue <laughs> bag, yeah. and it was a pretty rotten bag. Yeah, too. I could imagine. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, oh, that's priceless. Fantastic song too. Mm. Beautiful that, vocals. Mm. Brilliant. Beautiful vocals. Yeah. Yeah. And apparently she went in there and did that in only a few takes yeah. mm. as well. Maybe even one. Yeah, I thought mm. it was one. I yeah. it was one take. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And she did a couple of murder ballads. So she's she's never worked with a woman, though. What's that all about? Well, I think she recently did say... It's, oh, well, Danny, um, sorry. She's worked with Danny. Yeah, but um, they did ask Kylie recently in, in a MSN interview. Kylie did mention that she, maybe it is time for a, a female duet. Mm. And she Who does, would you have her sing with? Well, she, Kylie mentions... Madonna, Gaga, um, Beyonce, um, and then Shakira. <laughs> but get Shakira out of there. I think. <laughs> <laughs> but she's yeah. So, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I can't see anyone in my head. I can't pick anyone out of my head and think that. And you've already said about Madonna being out. What about yeah. Lady Gaga? I can't believe Gaga has only come up once in this whole conversation. You were the first to mention her. Mm, because of say hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, the comparisons. But let's face it, Gaga is the biggest act in the world the right moment. now. Yep. And I actually think, rightly so, the woman's amazing. But would you like to see Gaga and Kylie? They're, they're just so extremely different, aren't they? I think no. And from my side, from the club scene that I work in, if I hear any more Lady Gaga, I'm honestly, and it's not because I just love Kylie, I'm going to slash my wrists. I can't handle it. Yeah. They, can pl- they play her songs 20 times in one night in a nightclub. It's too much, so... Anyone else? I, I always wanted her to work with Michael Jackson. No, I'm um, sad so that I. Yeah, I was looking forward to that. Mm. Um, that's that's very sad that that mm. can't happen now. Can we talk about Danny for a moment? The the fans' reaction to Danny, the fans' attitude, Kylie fans' attitude towards Danny over the years, has swayed so monumentally, and has been so cruel at times. Yet it's really come full circle now, and I don't believe it will ever go back to the way that it was. Mm. Some Kylie fans would have maybe found it a bit... Um, Danny was a bit of a threat to mm, Kylie because mm. Danny was the first to be the singer. Danny was first at this. You know, Danny's more talented. You know, Danny's, you know... It's often up, said up. that she has a better voice than Kylie. Yeah. I I've often heard that noted. I don't agree with it. I don't agree with it either, but, um, mm. you know... I think that, and then partly I think, obviously, you know, anywhere, anywhere where there's people, uh, you know, putting two girls up against each other, there's going to be sibling, sibling rivalry. But then in saying that, when Kylie got sick, that's what I love now, that Danny was there for her. And now when you see them, they are tight. And that's why I think it's beautiful that now they're close again. Because even Kylie admits that they weren't close before that time when she was... was, Not as close. Not Mm -hmm. as close. No Mm -hmm. way. And now they're tight. You know, that's what's nice to see. And I think think that's why Kylie's fans And that's probably why her fans have embraced her again, because they think now she likes... Her. It started. It's sad to say that we follow her mm, that much, but yeah, uh, it, it started with the image of Danny rushing across Heathrow yeah, to Airport, be, absolutely, to be at Kylie's absolutely. side, and all of a sudden there was a shift, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and uh, I agree. I, I don't necessarily agree with Kylie or believe Kylie when she mm. said throughout all these years that there is no rivalry between us. Of course, there was. I do believe that there yeah. was. I don't think so much from Kylie either. I don't know what tells me that. My sense of people, I suppose. Yeah, I, th- yeah. I do believe that Danny had issue. And when yeah. she's writing this autobiography at the moment, which mm. will be released really soon, I'll be really interested to see how honest she is about mm. how hard it was. Because she's spoken, all of a sudden, like Kylie, she's become very frank recently. Mm. I don't know if you saw the British interview yes, she did yes. for an hour. Yep. Mm. Compelling, Absolutely. like it was just so raw. Absolutely. Mm. Um, so I'm looking forward to the autobiography and seeing if she finally admits, because she still hasn't, but mm. there was no question that it must have been hard. Imagine being that age, yep. mm. you're the one being groomed in the family to be yeah. the star, and then Kylie Minogue, of all people, to come. Yeah. Uh, like she's, mm. what yeah. a shadow, mm. what a shadow. And then the media jumping on board with it. Mm. Um, and Kylie was, uh, Danny was really mocked. So uh, blatantly mm. throughout mm. her career for mm. her weight, for her looks. Absolutely, mm. yeah. For so many reasons. Yeah. Mm. yeah.
Really sad, actually, but it's nice to see it's come full circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why I think this yeah. is where it should be, isn't we it? We like it like that, and it's the reason now. Like Danny, you know, like has had the baby. That's why Kylie's coming back to us. Really, Oops. that's right. And Danny is sharing the baby with Kylie. <laughs> As apparently, yeah, yeah. apparently on Women's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Source of all great information. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, Women's Day gets a plug. <laughs> fever time. Yay. Fever pitch. <laughs> Things do reach fever pitch shortly after this. Let's see if I can find a fever track. Talk amongst yourselves, please do. <laughs> 